cases we're talking about aren't when people are out peacefully protesting. Watch this video and get a good look. Cincinnati police are hoping someone recognizes these men caught breaking windows and stealing from Granauer Furs on 4th Street during the second night of civil unrest. You can see them stealing furs and walking away. Police say they stole more than $10,000 worth. Investigators believe the same men broke into Bang & Olufsen, a high-end electronics store across the street. The same night at City Gear in Avondale. But they clearly had, had gone through the door and, and you see the guy jumping in the minivan with an armload of merchandise. More thefts and a brief pursuit. Police called it off after they say this Honda minivan reached dangerous speeds. When we had businesses that were broken into and, and were looted, you know, grabbing armloads of of cell phones in the case of the incident out in, in Price Hills. Our cameras caught some of it downtown and in OTR. Police say others took advantage in Price Hill, Coryville, Clifton, the banks. These were people that were breaking into businesses, using baseball bats to break out windows. In one case, they shot windows out of a jeweler downtown. Sergeant Eric France says more videos will be released soon. There's a lot of people that, quite frankly, probably need to come turn themselves in because we know somebody's going to say who you are. You, the cameras caught you. Police say cameras already caught 35-year-old Justin Crum on video allegedly stealing inside Saks Fifth Avenue during the unrest and again days later. We're just catching our breath now. We've got the reports. We've got the video. Now we're going to go find him. And in the surveillance videos and more coming, you can clearly see faces. Police are hoping people turn themselves in, but they're also asking for tips. You can be anonymous. Just call Crime Stoppers or visit tip411.com. Reporting live outside of District 1 headquarters, Jatera McGee, WLWT News 5. All right.